In the world of communication, we have two dominant approaches, monologue and dialogue, and they both have implications for how we come across as leaders. So let's discuss these and unpack the details. Hello again, friends, Alex Lyon here, and this channel, Communication Coach, is here for rising leaders like you. All the videos here are to help you increase your personal impact so you can lead the people around you to higher levels of excellence. And so if you haven't yet subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Now, a big part of leadership is your communication style. Are you more likely to monologue with people or dialogue? So a monologue is where you communicate in a one-way fashion, where you mostly talk at other people, not with other people. When you're monologuing, there's not a lot of invitation to exchange ideas or for them to take a turn and check for understanding. Typically, the goal of a monologue, whether you realize it or not, is you're trying to get your idea into the other person's head. So that's one approach. Now, generally speaking, people don't really like to be on the receiving end of a monologue. It tends to push people away. The next time they see you coming, it's very likely that they'll try to avoid you. At least I probably would. So second, let's look at the dialogue approach to communication. A dialogue is by definition two ways. There's lots of turn taking, lots of invitation going back and forth in the conversation, both verbally and non-verbally. The goal of this is not to implant your idea into somebody else's head, but instead to reach a mutual understanding or shared meaning. Now that does not mean that you agree with what the other person is saying and they've convinced you. You just understand where they're coming from and you can appreciate their point of view in an accurate sense. So at least you do clearly follow what they're saying. Now, somewhere along the line, you're probably going to run into a clever salesperson or somebody who really has some experience and they will be monologuing at you, but they're still doing this thing where they're taking turns and they're, it seems like there's some invitation, you're having a conversation, but in the end, they're steering you toward their desired outcome. I've heard a lot of skilled salespeople drive me toward their way of thinking. So they're still trying to get their idea into my head. And that's still a monologue, what Martin Buber calls a monologue disguised as a dialogue. So when I ask you, do you are you more likely to monologue or a dialogue, I'm talking about a dialogue in the genuine sense where you actually desire a mutual exchange of ideas. So question of the day, are you a monologuer or a dialoguer? I hope I'm saying that right. I would love to hear your questions in that section below. So thanks, God bless, and I will see you next time.